Let's all celebrate and have a good time. Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a cheeky review for you and this one will take you back to disco parties at the bowling alley or at least it did for me. We are of course looking at Forever Bowling for Oculus Quest, a bowling game that attempts to bring the thrills of bowling to VR. Does it hit a solid strike or is it a gutter ball? Watch on, find out. Forever Bowling is my new favourite thing in VR. Not because it's a perfect simulation of the sport, and I don't really consider it a sport, me and my mates used to play it while doing whiskey chasers, but because it's just so much fun, and it zones in on the small incidental details as much as it does its fairly robust gameplay systems. VR bowling is never going to be quite right. We can simulate shooting a gun with a physical gun stock, we can simulate getting shot with a vibrating body pack, and we can simulate a good game of table tennis very, very well, as I noted in our 11 Table Tennis VR review. Check that out. They're not perfect simulations, mind you, but they're close enough. Bowling, on the other hand, will never come quite close enough, and that's because it's a very physical sport with a lot more going on than just picking up a bowl and swinging it towards the pins, even if that's how I play. Those who excel at real-life bowling know that there is a lot more to it. There's the feel of the ball, the weight, the grip, the size, and more. I've even seen some old geezers get on their hands and knees and peer down the lane, trying to work out the best slip lines. They're probably just a bit loony, though. You don't get any of that in Forever Bowling. It's not possible with the super lightweight Oculus controllers. Instead, the game turns to numbers. The balls all have different stats that affect how fast they'll roll down the lane, how steady they'll stay on course, and so on. Honestly though, I didn't really care much for the numbers side of the game. I'm not a competitive player. I just wanted to play for fun, and fun is what I got. The fun starts with the soundtrack. I was surprised to find that the game features a whole host of groovy disco tunes, as well as some certified bangers. I loved this. Before I even threw my first ball, I had a good old boogie to celebrate good times come on, and after that, I punched my way around to Eye of the Tiger. It's a small detail, and the game could have easily just gone with some generic license-free tunes, but going to the effort to put in some actual bangers is something I will cheer all day long. But what if you're a weirdo, and you don't like the music selection? No problem. Amazingly, Forever Bowling has a built-in YouTube browser. You step away from the lane and head towards the back end, and you'll find a little terminal with YouTube on the screen and a keyboard for you to type in your desired tracks. So, if you don't like the music, you can choose your own and turn a night of virtual bowling with the lads into an actual rave. Or you can play What What in the butt and dance along to that, each to their own. Another nice touch to Forever Bowling is that there are several venues. As you level up, you unlock new places to play. Ordinarily, I wouldn't care about such a feature in a sports game. I don't care what the stadium is, I just want to play the bloody sport. But each venue in Forever Bowling is unique, well detailed, and worth looking around. The first venue, the 90s style alley, had a bar, and so desperate was I for some manly interaction, I went up to the bar and replicated buying a beer. I didn't get a beer, but I got to dance with a cute guy behind the bar. That's something, right? Don't tell the mother of my child. When it comes to actual bowling, Forever Bowling does a good enough job. It's never going to be able to replicate the feeling of lobbing a £10 ball, I don't think VR ever will get there to be honest, but it gives it a good go. The tracking is decent enough, even with the underarm movements, and thinking about it, there were only a couple of occasions where I threw a ball and felt that the tracking had done me dirty. It was good enough that I, an actual dickhead when it comes to bowling, I tend to just get pissed and ruin it for everybody, I still managed to get a few strikes in this one. In real life, that's happened maybe about three times. Maybe I should try to stay sober when I go bowling. Nah. Forever Bowling is accessible, easy to play, and most of all, fun. If you just want to pick up and play a few lanes for fun, either by yourself, passing the headset in local multiplayer, or online with mates, you won't find a better option. Well, you could go to your local bowling alley, but I doubt that they'll let you play what what in the butt over the music system. And that is the end of this review. 
Thank you very much for watching and for sticking around to the end. Go on down below, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and give that bell icon a nudge so that you don't miss out on future videos. Go to the info box for social media channels, website links, and our supporters links, where you can support the team, if you can. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.